Hey loves, Jay here with your monthly reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Pisces placements anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. If it does not resonate with you, there are a lot of amazing readers out there. So take your pick, okay? Pisces, we're going to hop into your spiritual insights here. We're going to get your tarot cards out and clarify those as well. What I'm feeling for you, Pisces, and first off, welcome to the community if you're new here, and welcome back if you're old. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Pisces, I'm feeling a very free and playful, even sexual energy that's coming from you. It feels like some of you may be in an explorative phase when it comes to sex or and or your sexuality, and ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? <laughs> I'm going to say get it, Pisces. Um, but I love to feel, I love to feel you in this free energy because some of you have been feeling caged in due to your circumstances. And so having that freedom and feeling freer in your spirit is something that is like music to my ears. Um, you're making some money during this month. And this is from, you know, May and into June, but I feel it being towards the end of May. But really, I'm feeling that energy for you in the month of June, that it could be a, a money making month for you. And I feel like something is going to be taken off. And I really feel that I really feel that it has something to do with your feeling of feeling freer in your spirit, whatever this is. So if you are taking care of yourself, this is a reward for you. This is what that's what happens on the other side. OK, is you receiving OK as you're giving more to yourself. I'm also hearing this from you. I'm not that person anymore. OK, <laughs> so. You are or you have shed the old version of you and you feel a difference within yourself from the way that you think, from how you speak, how you act, how you interact or not interact with others. And things that you made time for or you prioritize before no longer stands because you're investing that, um, that time and energy into yourself. And good for you, Pisces. That's how it should be. Okay. I hear that. I'm hearing that song um, um, by In Vogue, never going to get it, never going to get it, never going to get it, never going to get it. Okay, and I'm laughing because this phrase means so many things to you, Pisces. People are not getting the same Pisces they once had access to before, okay? <laughs> let me know once, um, um, let me know in the comments below uh, what this phrase means to you specifically, okay? Because it definitely is like never going to get it and that's, it could show up in so many different ways. And, and what is something that someone will not um, get from you anymore? Okay, you can put that in the comment section below because con you're constantly giving Pisces. You know, water sign, you just, you love love. You're constantly giving to people. And I feel like you're in this place where you're like, you're in this place where you're like, I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. And it's not that you're trying to be um, spiteful about it. It's just that you just don't have the energy for it anymore. And you're not going to find the energy to do it either. Okay. So do you, um, I feel a very happy and vibrant energy overcoming you, Pisces. And you're in an element and things feel different in every aspect of your life. And I see you dancing in gold light. Okay, and gold light means that, um, you got me over here dancing now. Gold light means that you're reaching a phase of spiritual enlightenment and transformation. And I also saw that light within Capricorn as well. So maybe you have Capricorn in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn. But I see that in their energetic field as well. Okay, so there's definitely some sort of transition that's happening. But Pisces, you're attaining something that you've been working at and working through. And bravo, bravo, Pisces, okay? You deserve all of the good and all of the blessings that are coming to you. There's more on the way is what Spirit is saying. I feel, I feel you're reaching a peak. Some of you are performers and the spotlight is on you, okay? Like you're literally performers, some of you are, okay? And you're loving every minute of the spotlight being on you. And, and Pisces, you're really coming into your own. You're, you're in your element. So if your heart is... If your heart is smiling in, in your career, your job, your business, a relationship, whatever, keep doing more of that, okay? Because it's bringing out this good energy in you, okay? And, and Spirit is saying, may peace be with you. And for most of you, that's all you have really been asking for is for peace, okay? Your universal message here is to forgive, okay? Whoever needs to hear this. I'm going to say this before I read this. 
because this card really spoke to me because some of you, yes, are needing to forgive someone for something. But I really feel, Pisces, that you're needing to forgive yourself from some of the things that you've been through, that you've put yourself through, that you constantly allow to happen to you. And you're at this place where you're like, I will not do that anymore. I love me more. Okay, so forgiveness is going to, it's always for the giver, right? It's for yourself. So although you may have to get forgive other people, I really feel like this energy is centered around you. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much more you want from the adventure. Okay, so forgiving is important for you during this time frame. If you have not been doing that work, it is time for you to do it. If you're seeing the number 666, I don't want to hear anything in the comments about, oh, that's demonic and all of this. This card is about reflecting. Okay, that number is an angel number that is about reflection. It's about love. It's about affection. It's about compassion, kindness, attention, self, self love. Okay, these are important things that you are, your angels are asking you to reflect on as you're seeing this number. Several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. Beautiful. Okay, so if you're seeing 666, that is validation for you. Go forward fearlessly is what your angels are saying here. Okay, no need to hold back anything. Whatever is on your heart, it is time for you to shine your light into the world. This is why I feel that some of you are performers. And I'm also looking at this. There are six stars around um, the angel's head as well. Okay, number The number six is also synonymous with creativity and love and nostalgia and memories. Um, I'm hearing some of you are open, opening the door to something. So you're letting go of fear, what has been holding you back, and you're moving forward fearlessly, okay? Bring love into the situation, and I feel like that's you loving yourself more. Or if you have been dealing with needing to forgive someone, bring love into that situation as well, for they not know what they have done to you, okay? And usually... We say when we think about the four agreements, um, Don, Don Miguel Ruiz, I always bring up, I think it's number two, it's don't take things personally. Okay, it's kind of hard to not take things personally, but it is something to practice and to master. And this is New Moon in Aquarius. That happened on February 9th of this year. So some of you have already been in a position of forgiving, forgiving yourself and forgiving others and trying to bring love into the situation due to the hurt that you may have felt, Pisces. So I do feel like you've already been doing your work, which is why we're at this position of feeling freer in our spirits. Okay, love that. And more patience is required. I laughed when I pulled this because... Every time I talk to my guides, it's always about be patient, be patient. So we need more patience in order for something to unfold, okay? So there is no universal, there is no time in the universe, but it is always on time, okay? So no need to fret about when things are going to be transpiring, okay? Just be patient in the situation here, Pisces, okay? I've already shuffled these, but I'm just giving it one more shuffle and a flip so we can get some reversals out here. Great Spirit of the Most High, we ask for the most highest and clearest messages for Pisces. Know that we seek the truth, even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm in this moment. Okay. Messages for Pisces for their highest good and the highest good of those that are involved. Pisces. We have the star reversed. Aquarius energy here. We have the Seven of Wands reversed, which is uh, Capricorn. We have Capricorn energy here. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so we have um, Virgo energy. We also have Libra. Seven of Pentacles. We have uh, 
whose energy is this? And I'm like, who are you? Um, this is Saturn energy here. Saturn and I'll figure it out. We have the two of wands reverse. So a lot of reversals coming up for you guys. Aries energy here, Sagittarius energy. Actually, that's not Sagittarius. So it's Aries in Aries and Mars energy. We have the Knight of Cups coming up for you. Scorpio Libra energy. And we have the Hangman reverse. Okay. So Taurus energy here. All right, so let's see what is coming up for you. We're going to clarify these as well, okay? So let's see. We have one. We have two major arcanas. One to start, one to end, okay? So in your overall position and in your final outcome here. So in this one, oh, and they're both coming in reverse, okay? So this is internal energy that some of you um, may be feeling where some of you may be in this position that you can or you have been feeling a little bit pessimistic you've been feeling negative energies around you you've been feeling it in you you and this is the reason why some of you have isolated yourself from people because you just don't have the time or the energy to be in other people's energy because you are very empathic and we talked about this last reading you're super empathic so you pick up things and you have enough you have enough going on yourself here Pisces right so you just decide to just cut yourself off from, you know, everything else and all the people and just be in your bubble so that you can get right. OK, because I feel like you have been in this position of being ready to come out of like transition out of feeling pessimistic and negative. OK, <laughs> excuse me. Um, some of you have been going through some depression or even emotional pain that has come up for you. And I feel like, again, you have been in this position of retreating your energy so that you can get right, right. Okay. Some of you have been in this place of, you know, we're neglecting your spiritual developments as well because you've been in this despair. Okay. You've been in this position where you haven't been forgiving for some of you. Okay. But I do feel like forgiveness is on the horizon for you some of you may just be doing this okay you may start today after seeing the forgiveness card and some of you have been doing this since that new moon in aquarius of really just trying to sift through your emotions and let go of things that no longer serve you okay so in your overall position we have that star which we are already saying uh, we've already been saying that you know some of you have been pouring out a lot or maybe not or maybe not enough not maybe you've just been holding on to things and it has sort of boiled up for some of you and that boil comes with depression and emotional instability that is coming up for you um so i definitely feel like you may have been in that position let's clarify this star here reversed i feel like you're now um you're going to be focusing on yourself because things have definitely been heavy you've been stuck you've been feeling blinded um, you've been carrying a lot on your plate, a lot on your shoulders, some of you physically, uh, financially, a lot of you spiritually as well, emotionally as well. But I definitely feel like that you are tr at a crossroads and trying to decide, like, um, how do I handle whatever this is that I'm going through? Okay, because it seems like it has been a lot. And I feel like some of that residual energy may resurface for you during this time. But overall, I do feel like you're in this place of reflection, right? 666 is reminding you to bring love into the situation and to move forward fearlessly. Okay, so I do feel like this is temporary energy that may surface for you again, where you might find yourself being a little bit of a uh, bit a little negative. But this is you needing to re reel yourself back in here. Okay. There's some bumps in the road. Okay, of course, but I feel like you're, you know, you will definitely overcome them. 100%. For some of you, this may be things that could be going on in your in your mind. In in your um or in your home like in your environment where things just maybe things are feeling tense and there's you know i don't know how it's going to show up for you but definitely with the two of swords here like you know make sure you're not in the place of avoiding things that need to be addressed you know so that you can move on from it because there's something that may uh, may be heavy on your mind okay i'm not even going to say on your heart but heavy on your mind I just feel like a lot of communication is needed for some of you. Okay, this is not going to resonate with everyone, but it definitely has something to do 
with uh, where your emotions are, what you've gone through, what you're releasing, what you're letting go of. So maybe some of you are seeing a professional or maybe you're just talking to, confiding in those that are closest to you to just sort of uh, move through it. Spirit is saying the more you talk about it, the more you can heal. The more you talk about it, the more you release. Okay, so whatever it is that you're going through, talk about it to those that you trust. Okay, and make sure people ain't spreading your business all over the place. Okay. <laughs> So overall, that's the energy here. I'm going to pull one more card because, you know, <laughs> the star. <laughs> the star is coming back out. Okay, so I do feel an energy of, but this is coming up upright. So I, I do feel like there's a back and forth of you, like feeling negative and then feeling positive and then you be feeling inspired and you feeling like your mental health is most important to you. So you feel like you're getting clear. You, you're, you're happier in this phase of renewing. So I definitely feel like the residual, okay, this is something that happened in the past. And I do feel like it's something that you're overcoming, you're stepping into with the star, that you're really taking care of yourself, because that's most important. And we talk about this all the time that um, self love, self healing, self care, all of those things are important for you find things that you can do where, you know, you could be the star of the show bring love into the situation where you can be the star of the show. And I talk about how uh, happy habits are important, you know, find things that you can indulge in on a day-to-day -day basis. That's going to bring happiness for you in that moment to elevate your frequency. Okay. And that could be as simple as I, uh, you know, taking a nap for an hour, going for a walk, getting in your sauna. If you have a sauna um, reading for 30 minutes, you know, there's, I have a happy habits list and it's just, I, I choose whatever I'm feeling during that day. That's what I choose and I do it and it ele elevates my spirit. And it's because you have been in a heavy energy most recently and you're really coming out of that. So you really are trying to pour into yourself. And, and I feel like you have a clear understanding of who you are here as well, Pisces. We have the seven of wands that's showing up in your obstacle position, obstacle or challenge. And some of you, uh, make sure you're not in a position where you're, you know, feeling um, overly defensive or sensitive, you know, some of you are taking things personally. So remember that, you know, sometimes it's not even about you, you know, Pisces. Okay. And that's not in a bad way, but sometimes when people are going through things, it really isn't even about you. Okay. It is just their perception of, you know, their anger and, and it's your perception of how they display their anger towards you that it makes you feel like it's personal. But if you really step into the energy of understanding that it's really not about you, it's really not. Okay. So some of you, again, may feel like um, you may be at a disadvantage or you may be lacking something in a way and you want to fight and run away from the things don't do it the fool is here and then we have the king of pentacles coming out for you reversed all right so there may be some sort of new revelation or new understanding or new opportunity for something and some of you may just i don't know i don't know if this could show up as a job where you feel like maybe you're not qualified for something whatever or you or maybe you're you know trying to apply for a loan and you don't get the loan like Whatever this is, I'm hearing to not let it discourage you, okay, to continue to move forward fearlessly and reflect on, okay, it didn't happen right now, but doesn't mean that it's, that's the end of it. That doesn't mean that's a hard no. So whatever this is, when it, ha it has something to do around finances for some of you trying to take a, a new step into something, don't get discouraged if it does not work out, okay? And also, if it gets challenging, don't run away right away, Okay. So I'll leave that at that. The Queen of Swords here in your, um, what's what's coming towards you? I mean, where you're headed with the Queen of Swords. All right. So we did say Libra energy here, also Virgo. So I do feel like you are in the position of using your intellect. You're not just, I love this energy right now because I just, this beautiful feeling just overcame me. You're very intuitive, Pisces, and you're, but you're also using this queen of swords is like you're using your intellect you know it's beautiful to rely on your intuition but i do feel like you're discerning between the two of those to be able to make decisions on how you move forward in your life okay so it feels like a new energy that you're exuding because this is a different aspect of yourself and some of you may have air energy in your chart where you're really tuning into that intellectual side and really thinking about things i love using my intuition 
And sometimes we do, we're so into our intuition because we know it doesn't tell us, it doesn't steer us wrong. But sometimes we need a little bit of logic in situations as well, okay? So I feel like this Queen of Swords is something that you may be embodying. I'm going to pull some clarifiers around that. We have the Ace of Swords and then we have the Six of Swords. Interesting, so a lot of sword energy here and I feel like it's, you know, for some of you, it is your energy here. Some of you are also dealing with an air sign um, that maybe you have are moving on from because we have the six of the six of swords is moving on from something. But I do feel like there's some news, some information that may come in that is going to push you forward in some sort of way. And it feels like a really good energy that it really just it moves you past something whether that's a thought that has been lingering, that is a person that has been lingering, and you're moving on from that. But whatever this is, okay, even if it revolves around money and, um, you know, trying to get a loan or an investment or even purchase a car, whatever the case may be, I do feel like this is good news that is coming in. I feel like there's a door that's going to, to open up for you in some way, okay? And I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for, and I do feel like you have help and support there to get you through it so things have been feeling rocky you're moving to calmer waters now i love that and there is help help that it, that is there and you're really turning your back to whatever this is as i'm looking at this energy here that they're not even turning your back i don't even, i don't even want to say that because that sounds like it's negative you're moving on you're moving forward here okay so you are open to receiving something here and you're going to move forward with that the king of cups emotional stability and diplomatic so i feel like there's an energy of you balancing your intuition and your logic okay you you feel good about something you're going to go for it but you're also going to um you're you're going to use logic and strategy in in a way okay you're going to weigh out your options is what i'm feeling so it's like um for example, I'm in the position where my lease is up in my car and I want to get into the same car, but I want a different color. And, you know, with inflation, things are super expensive now. OK, way more expensive. I got my car during COVID and now I thought that was expensive and now it's even more. But my intuition is saying, yes, I want to be in that car because that car makes me feel good. But I'm using my logic because I'm like, is it financially smart? to do this or that, or they have to come with these sort of numbers in order for me to even consider it. Okay. So you see using that intuition and logic, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to be smart, but I'm also being true to myself as well. So that's what I feel like what's happening for you is where you're headed. What's coming towards you is the seven of pentacles. So look, this is you investing into something, whatever that is for you. That could be a relationship for some of you. This could be you investing money into a new business, a, you know, business relationship, investing, I don't know, a new friendship in general. I don't know how that's going to show up for you, but I feel like you're going to be putting time and energy into something to receive, to, re to get some sort of return, whatever that return is, whether that is love, that is money, you're putting in something, okay, in order to get something back. But I do feel like it's something that you've already been working on. So you have a plan for something already. You've been working out a relationship and you're expecting more love to be brought into the situation. You're reflecting on the relationship. I don't know how that's going to show up for you. Eight of Cups. I'm feeling like some of you are, could be walking away from something as well. Now I'm seeing this Eight of Cups in the Hierophant walking away from an opportunity. I don't know, walking away from an investment. Something that you've been putting time and energy into, you could be leaving that, okay, realizing that maybe it isn't for you. You might decide to go in a different direction. I don't feel like you're giving up. I feel like you're using your intuition and your logic here, Pisces, where you're like, I, this maybe this just isn't for me anymore. I don't know how that is going to play out for you, like in a career or in a relationship, okay, because this Eight of Cups is about relationship and emotions, but this could just be emotions. See, this could even be your relationship with money as well, okay, how you feel about money, leaving that alone, leaving, like, walking away from your scarcity mindset, getting some help here. So some of you may even seek out counseling, a financial planner, a spiritual advisor. Um, you may even 
um, what was I going to say initially about this hierophant here? Because it feels like, oh, researching. So some of you may be um, deciding to research, okay? I definitely feel like this is like some emotion or something that you're leaving behind that you've been working at, working at, and it's just like, oh, I keep hitting a wall. But I do feel like the wall is broken down because you've been working at it. But it feels like you are in a position of allowing ease and grace into your life instead of pushing up against the wall, okay? And I feel like because you pushed up against the wall so much that it becomes fragile when you're not paying, when you're not paying attention to it and you're not investing so much time and energy into it because now you're investing energy into yourself, right? Your happy habits, focusing on you, that that wall just begins to crumble because it, it becomes weak because you've been you've been pushing up against it for so long and you've been waiting for it to fall and then you're like forget it I'm gonna I'm gonna focus my attention elsewhere then it the shit just crumbles on its own excuse my language like it just crumbles on its own okay and so that wall is knocked down that's what I'm feeling for some of you so you may be learning something new um, is what's coming towards you okay and it may be something that's presented to you you might find something online you're like oh maybe I can benefit from that I'm taking a new course right now I'm just researching online I'm like oh I'm gonna pay for this course because this can benefit me in my business so it could be something just as small as that um, you just learning something new a new skill a new trade whatever this is for you I definitely feel like you're walking away from what seemed outdated that you've been putting so much energy into but I definitely feel like your the time that you invested now is beginning to pay off so for some of you we talked about you're getting your money up that's what came up in your spiritual insights earlier and it's gonna be you know for some of you the end of May but mainly in June the month of June this is probably what you're walking towards is leveling up, elevating in some sort of way. And I feel like it's your birthright. When I look at the Hierophant, I feel that that, that is a very spiritual energy there. And this is your spirit saying like, yes, it is your time here, Pisces. So that's what's coming towards you. What's happening in your near future is the Two of Wands reversed. Okay, coming up for you. That light be getting on my nerves, y'all. Okay, so the two of wands in your in this position. So some of you, um, some of you may have some goals, but you're not clear on how those what steps you need to take in order to um, to attain those goals. Or they may be hasty. It may be hasty planning where you might be rushing into something because you're like, I gotta get it done here. You know, take your time. Okay, take your time because. This is Aries energy and Aries, this is Aries, oh, I think I said Aries and, um, and Mars, yeah, Aries and Mars energy, that is intense, okay, that is super intense, and then Aries is ruled by Mars, so that is intense energy where it feels like you're, you could be very impulsive, you're like, I want it done right now, and this is how it's going to be, and you just like do it. So this kind of it's kind of like your advice is to sort of take your time so you're not making hasty decisions or rushing into anything that may not align with your intentions. So um, let me pull some cards around this. The Chariot and the Four of Swords. Okay. So yeah, definitely take your time on something that you're trying to move into. Okay. I don't, I'm not saying to give up on it, but what I'm saying is to just take your time. And it feels like it's almost like your advice as well, okay? It's kind of like your advice. But make sure you're intentional about what it is that you're doing. Don't rush into it, okay? Get all of your ducks in a row or just strategize and, you know, really connect to your intuition for those of you who are feeling disconnected and really get into um, why you're doing this. Um, what are the benefits of this? Like you have to ask yourselves questions in that way. Okay. Um, so make sure you're not rushing. Let the universe order your steps for you and things will happen in divine timing for you. But there is definitely something that is transpiring for you. And it may not seem clear to you just yet, but I promise if you sit with yourself here, Pisces, that it will be clear for you. And this is that to not give up on it is just to take your time 
with whatever this is. It definitely feels like it's going to be successful, okay, whatever this is. And you need, maybe even needing a timeout from, or some of you are taking a timeout from something as well, okay. But taking your time with whatever this is, very interesting energy here as I'm having a revelation myself, okay. The Knight of Wands is in your advice position. Okay, so I feel like there is uh, a romance that could be coming in for some of you, but at the end of the day, I feel like there is like love that is surrounding you here, Pisces, okay, and Spirit is saying, remember we said bring love into the situation, but I feel like you're feeling a sense of love. Some of you have been feeling lack, lack of money, lack of love, lack of, you know, all, a lot of things because of some of the things that you've been going through, but I'm feeling self-compassion, but I feel like people are, you know, becoming people in your space or you're bringing people into your space that are compassionate okay that are loving that are giving that are also inspirational they're inspiring you they're they're great people in general okay but i definitely feel like for some of you this could be someone coming into your life and for those of you these are just people that are currently around you or more people that are coming into your space that are going to be offering you love here Okay, the moon. So we have the page of swords and then we have the moon coming out for you. Oh, and that moon came out reversed. It was reversed actually. Okay, so let's see. I feel like you're you're curious about something and I feel, I feel like you're exploring something. You're exploring other options in some way. I, Hmm. I feel I feel too that this could be a person that you could be walking towards as well maybe even sharing sharing your innermost thoughts to as well so I don't know if this person is showing up romantically for you but I'm feeling a level of trust and security coming from coming from this person it's almost like you you like you relate you relate to this person and it feels comfortable but I'm always going to say like also use your intuition okay use your intuition when it comes to the, the knight of cups is about intuition as well use your intuition with what it is that you're sharing because not everybody needs to know all the details okay is what I'm hearing <laughs> And I'm a firm believer of that too, okay? Not everybody needs to know all of the details, but I feel like you're opening up a little bit more. So, so those of you had that have been closed off and isolated and just sort of in your own bubble, it almost feels like you're coming out, coming out now, okay? Coming out. And maybe some of you are physically coming out, okay, with your sexuality, which we talked about earlier, right? And I'm feeling this free spirit. So some of you are coming out as well, okay? And good for you. Amazing. Okay, be your authentic self, whatever that looks like for you. So there is a lot that is transpiring in your life and I feel like you're just feeling free. This is reminding me that you're feeling freer in your spirit, that you're not closed off. So you're open, you're opening yourself up. Okay, and spirit is asking you to open yourself up because some of you are needing different perspective, different perception. You're needing to trust that the universe are going to bring the is going to bring the right person or the right people into your life to help you on this portion of your journey because some of you have definitely just closed out a cycle and you you know you're on this new phase and there's going to be new energies that you're going to be interacting with um, in order to help you through this portion okay your final outcome here is the hangman in reverse so some of you may want to retreat back to this energy of you know going back into your bubble okay um, and, and reflecting and neglecting <laughs> your spiritual practices due to whatever it is that comes up for you, which we're going to, we're going to um, find out here, but there's this energy of despair and forgiveness. But again, I feel like it is residual energy that some of you are experiencing from all of the things that have transpired. So you're not, you know, you don't, something happened to you yesterday. You're not healed today. So it's a, the healing process takes a while, but I definitely feel like it's old. It's old energy. Okay. 
Eight of Pentacles, and then look, the Knight of Cups is coming out again. Very interesting. So some of you have been working on, I feel like you've been working on yourself. I feel, oh, that feels emotional, Pisces. Thank you for this revelation, Spirit. I feel like some of you had a hard time balancing taking care of yourself and then giving to other people. And the reason why some of you keep retreating back to um, an energy of feeling selfish is because you are, you're, you're now, you're learning, like you're trying to implement still setting your boundaries and taking care of you in the presence of others where you could still be there for people, but you're not showing up the way that you were before because for you, you did you all you went all in you were all in and so now it's like you're setting this boundary like the queen of swords here she's all about setting boundaries you're clear now using your logic right and understanding what you will give away and what you won't okay so there's a there's this balance between intuition you know who you can give it to and who you can't so before you were operating just from your intuition, you're like, I just want to love everybody and give, I want to heal people. I want everybody to be okay. I feel like you're in this position now, okay, where you're going to be focused on, this is all I'm going to give because I have to have something left for myself. So I feel like you're putting yourself in a position where you're always considering you first instead of considering how other people feel or what they're going through, which is a beautiful position to be in because sometimes Pisces, you can have a hard time with boundaries. Okay. And it is something for you to learn. It, especially for those of you that are very empathic and you pick up energies. So protecting yourself, always considering you first before you go out into the world and you start giving like the, the giver that you are, the helper that you are. This is what this feels like. You giving that love to you first. So I feel like you keep retreating because you're trying to you're trying to get a really good balance on um, how you interact and what you give and what you keep. OK, so I love that energy here for you. And again, like I said, go forward fearlessly, bring love into the situation, forgive yourself for the things that you have been going through and know that nothing was your fault nothing's no one fault it's just it is what it is don't take things personally and now you can just move forward and be free be free in the energy that you are feeling like stay in that energy pisces okay so that is your reading guys thank you so much for tuning in be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified when i put out more pisces readings like this comment below if it resonates with you share with your family and your friends enjoy this month enjoy all of the beautiful energies that are surrounding you surrounding you and flowing through you and i will see you guys very soon many blessings to you and loving light guys peace